up you guys welcome back to rainy part run <laughs> rainy room part two of our honeymoon vlog if you missed our last one we just left portugal make sure you go watch that vlog we were there for about a week we went to lagos and lisbon and it was a lot of fun um so we just landed in rome today we're kind of walking around we've had to take a couple of timeouts just to have breaks from the rain because it started raining shortly after we got here sorry i'm not tall enough do you want to hold it? Nah. <laughs> um, anyway, we're just at the bottom of the Spanish steps right now. It just stopped raining. And we also went and checked out the Trevi Fountain earlier. Yeah, you want to see the steps? You want me to stop talking? The steps! Ta da! You want to look at the steps? Look at the there. No. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, one sec. I'll show you the steps. Ta da! That's where Noah's Ark landed. That's, a, that's Noah's Ark, in case you're wondering. All the animals fell on that thing. <laughs> You're narrating from now on. <laughs> All right, now our plan is to head towards the Colosseum. We're gonna go walk and check that out. I've never been to Rome before. Chris has been, so he's being my tour guide today, just taking me to all of the very touristy things. But we're staying like a two minute walk on the Spanish steps and the Trevi Fountain, which is really nice. We can go check off all the tourist things really quickly. All right, we're gonna go past the Trevi Fountain again. So I'll show it to you guys. I've never been to Rome before. It's like one of those things that you see in person and even though you've seen it a million times in photos, it's just surreal. And what you don't see when you see the photos of the fountain is how many people there are standing around it. So I'll show you that too. So cool. What building is that? Um, bloody big one. <laughs> On Chris's tour guides, the bloody build, big building. What Altar is it? Altar of the Fatherland. It's so, it's massive. Yeah. It's, it's really pretty. We're just walking past all of these ruins that are along the way. They're like historical, archaeological sites, I think it says over there. Yeah, archaeological area. But it's like remains of really old buildings. Wait, I want to go closer. That's cool. It's like dinosaur bones, but old buildings. Just nerding out a little bit. Everything's so cool. All the views. We're on our way to the Coliseum now. Ta-da! Honestly, it's smaller than I was expecting. Chris and I were just talking about how in movies it looks massive. This is my first time seeing it, obviously. It's massive, but it's not. It's big, but it's, it's like not. that statue with the, or that big, huge, what did you call it? Big, yeah. big something building. Anyway. The altar of the father. Okay. Yeah, but what did you call it? I liked your name better. Big bloody building. Big bloody building. <laughs> that looked a lot bigger than this. So, anyways. Very cool to see it in person, but... That's the Arc de Triomphe. <laughs> We're in Paris now. Grand version. <laughs> We're in Paris now. It's like the Vegas Eiffel Tower. Copying Paris everywhere. <laughs> I mean, it's still pretty freaking cool. Okay. Are you getting me... Are you getting me some gelato? I'm getting some alcohol. Oh, that works too. We're just walking a little lap around it to see it from all of the sides. I was saying to Chris, I feel like this part, there's parts that look like they've been kind of restored. Like they're, the brick looks newer versus like the old material. But don't quote me on that because you'd probably have to do some actual I'll, reading. I'll it. Okay. Chris's fun facts. We just walked up to the gate and taking a little look inside. Like that's the other side. You can see right through it. It's not that big. All right. What did your research tell you? restored so I was right about 700 years ago but it was restored in like what 13 something yeah so the brick ain't new she looks new she not it's raining again we thought we would take a selfie with the oh, oh, okay. put it on sorry yeah, right. huh? <laughs> <laughs> back to our Airbnb um, and I did a quick outfit change and changed my hair slightly and we're gonna head out to dinner. I'm gonna go try and take some photos by the Trevi Fountain. Fingers crossed it's not as busy as it was 
earlier, but we shall see. And then we're gonna go eat dinner. And I've noticed on a lot of the restaurant signage, it looks like everywhere has gluten-free like pizza and pasta. So I'm really hopeful. Although from what I've heard, a lot of my like gluten intolerant friends can come to Europe and like eat the pasta and be fine. I think a lot more people are just sensitive to like the chemicals that they produce wheat products with in North America. But anyways, I'm not risking it. It's halfway through the trip. It could ruin the rest of the trip for me. So anyway. We'll see what we can find. All right, we're at the fountain. We've got some pics. Now we're gonna throw points over. Ready for good luck. Three, <laughs> two, one. coin that I threw into the Trevi Fountain landed on a rock, so I don't know if that's really bad luck or really good luck. Who knows? If you know, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> I think it rolled off the rock because we couldn't see it after, so it's probably fine. I just hope, I hope that's not like seven years of bad luck or some shit. We are on our way to find a dinner spot now. We're walking towards the Pantheon to see if there's any like dinner spots. Oh, there's looks like there's restaurants up here to find a nice little cute spot. And I'm gonna have some gluten-free pasta or pizza, I'm decided. The Pantheon. All right, we found a dinner spot. It's pretty epic. We're sitting like right by the Pantheon and the prices actually aren't outrageous, so it's a win. All right, we got our food. I got my GF pasta. Chris got a margarita pizza. He's already eating it. It looks so good. All right, first gluten-free pasta was a success. It's delicious. Find out through the night. What do you mean? No, I'm, just I'm talking about the flavor. <laughs> Not if I get sick. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, it was delicious. It had mine had like olive oil, garlic, and pecorino cheese on it. Chris just got a plain old margarita pizza, like the basic bitch that he is. <laughs> Loved every bit of it. Kidding, just kidding. I almost got a margarita pizza for lunch. There's no judgment here. Um, yeah, now we're just gonna walk and probably get our first Italian gelato. Just eating our way through Italy. And then we're gonna try to go to bed. We lost an hour on the way here from Portugal, so I feel like I'm still pretty wide awake right now, even though it's like 11.30. So hopefully we'll be able to fall asleep at a decent time so we can get up at a decent time tomorrow and get exploring. All right, we decided on limoncello and hazelnut. Mixed together, probably a little bit strange, but that's the two flavors we wanted. We're just sharing one. Looks good with the side of Trevi Fountain. Good morning, you guys. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> um, we are just about to get our day started. We kind of slept in. We slept until like 9.20, unfortunately, but it's because we lost an hour on the way to Rome from Portugal, so we're just a little bit behind. And now we're finally ready to get the day started. And you can, you can probably hear the thunder and the rain. Um, so we're gonna go find a cute little cafe to have a coffee at and post up for a little bit until this passes because this was like yesterday's thunderstorm. It got really rainy and thundery for like half an hour and then it went away and it was fine for the rest of the day. So fingers crossed that's what it does today too. Chris's outfit of the day. I don't know why that light's like strobing out. Okay. Outfit of the day. Top, Zara. Shorts. We got those at H&M in Lisbon. And his little chucks, and he looks so cute. <laughs> He's happy about it. It's nice and warm outside. Um, we bought this five euro umbrella yesterday off of a guy. There's just people selling stuff on the street, but it's like they know exactly what you're gonna need. As soon as it started raining, there was a guy who was like, umbrella? The yeah, the little gypsies. Um, but it's come in handy so far. So we got on a bus, which took us to the river, essentially, and we're just walking over into the area called Trastevere right now, where we're gonna explore a little bit. Um, and it's still raining, not hopefully not for long. We're walking into blue sky. Chris was really grumpy about sharing an umbrella, so he got his own now. 
because if you like, <laughs> because I get drenched <laughs> holding it to you. I'm an umbrella princess. I'm also carrying all of our stuff, so I'm more important. Okay, we're walking through Trastevere now. Um, it finally stopped raining, so we put the umbrellas down. I just got a little to-go coffee and spilled it all over myself because I slipped. Yay for me. But anyways, the streets in here are really cute. We finally found, it was kind of strange when we first got in here. It wasn't really what we were expecting, but I feel like now we're in like the cute area where all the good restaurants are and stuff. And so I'll show you around. saying to Chris all the streets in here are so beautiful but there's graffiti everywhere and it kind of like takes away from it which is really sad look at this just walked over to Vatican City and we're checking it out it's pretty crazy Hiked, oh, almost dropped my bag. We just hiked up to this like viewpoint. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, but the view, yeah, sure, if you know what it is. Um, there's a pretty sweet view of Rome from here. Let me show you. Terrazza Genicolo. Terrazza Genicolo. That's where we are. In that one. Stunning. <laughs> yeah, the view's really pretty. It's so humid though, we're both like sweating. Also another another fun fact I learned today, thanks to Encyclopedia Chris, is that Vatican City, where we were before, where the Vatican is, is actually its own country. Now you know. If you didn't already know, I didn't know. We just came across this very old fountain built in the year 109, according to Encyclopedia Chris. It's a really pretty one. Chris is just drinking out of one of the local fountains. High quality H2O. High quality. Looks old. Delicious. Very fresh. Fresh, tasty, cold water. We found our lunch spot. It's called Tonarella and it was recommended to me by friends. Um, and their pasta looks unbelievable. Just ordered some drinks to start. The menu's massive. Best Aperol spritz I've had so far in Italy. So good. Our pastas just came. I got carbonara today. Chris got <laughs> spaghetti and meatballs. It's really good. Mm. All right, Tonarella was bomb. Pasta was really good. The gluten-free pasta was really good. But the portion sizes were huge. Definitely go really hungry or share a dish between two people because we both didn't finish. This is what the restaurant looks like on the outside. All right, so we're on to our next um, touristy little thing. And we decided to come see, what is it called? Circus Maximus. Circus Maximus, which is where they used to do the like chariot racing and stuff. It's like this big... Chariot racing stadium stadium it's like a big coliseum stadium situation um let me show you what's left of it <laughs> this is it guys this is it i'm sure it was amazing at one point but now it's just a mud pit apparently it used to seat how many people 150k Over 150, yeah they probably used to sit right here where these flowers are stunning beautiful all right, next up on the stop list of things to see today, we're going up to see the, shit, what was it called? What did you call it? The big, big bloody building. The big bloody building. We're going to the top of it. We didn't realize yesterday, but there's a viewpoint at the top that my friend told me about that you can go to and you can see like the whole city. So we're gonna go check it out. We went home and had a little recuperation session. We, our step count is well over 20,000 at this point. So Chris had a nap and 
I just chilled out for a bit. And now we're back out and we're on the gelato hunt. Okay, I got my gelato. I already ate it, but I got like bounty flavor, like like the bounty coconut chocolate bar. It was delicious. Um, and then we just went into this really random store. I know, I should have I should have vlogged in there. It's like this, it's essentially like a candy and treat store. It's called OD store. It's right behind me and it was massive. It just kept going and going and they had all kinds of crazy flavors of different stuff. So Chris got sweet chili Cheetos and he just ate the first one. And he said they're good. Can I smell them? They smell, they smell like, I don't know if I can. Corn. Yeah, they're good. They taste like, like what, what's, you know those chips that are um, sweet chili sour cream? It tastes like those for popcorn version. <laughs> okay, somehow we made room for dinner. So we found a dinner spot. So I think we're gonna share a pizza because we're both not. <laughs> All right, the gluten-free pizza, as you can probably tell, is delicious. And we got some green salad, too. Oh my gosh, that gluten-free pizza was so good. I didn't actually get a name of what that restaurant was, but their pizza was bomb. It's probably the same in most places, but that was one of the best gluten-free crusts I've had in a while. And we were sitting next to a couple, and we kept overhearing their conversation, and I was like, Chris, I think they're Australian. And it was this really lovely couple who we ended up chatting with, and sure enough, they're from, like, not that far from you, from where you're from. Um, and they're, like, doing a trip through Italy that's very similar to ours, which we haven't even talked about. So tonight, when we get back to our Airbnb, we'll run you through the rest of our Italy trip, because Rome is just the first stop. Okay, so we're home at our Airbnb, and I just... Did my little skincare routine and got in bed and realizing now my shirt's inside out cool but um okay so the outline for the rest of our time in italy is basically today was our last day in rome tomorrow morning we're picking up another rental car if you watched our uh portugal vlog you know that driving rental cars in big cities like this is scary which is why we're just picking it up tomorrow so <laughs> We're picking it up um, in the morning and then we're gonna head down. We're spending the next three nights in Praiano on the Amalfi Coast. So we're gonna spend the day kind of like taking our time driving down there tomorrow. What? There's a Christmas tree. What? There's a Christmas tree. There's a Christmas tree? That's all the lights on. Oh my God. Thank you for turning all my lights off. Mm -hmm. um, so anyways, we're heading down to Amalfi Coast tomorrow and we're probably going to stop in maybe Sorrento and Naples tomorrow. Check those out. We've both never been. This is like the leg of the trip. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. Oh my god. Um, this is the leg of the trip. Neither, neither of us have been down to Amalfi before so we're really excited. And then we head inland towards Puglia. We're spending three nights, two nights over on the coast of Puglia, but in the middle um, of the country, essentially, we're gonna stop for one night in Matera. Matera, mm -hmm. which is like this really cool town. What are the houses made? Like the houses are like built into the hill, basically, right? Into the mountains. Yeah. Why are you laughing at are me? Are you writing them a book? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wonder, would you guys read a book if I wrote it? Jeez, uh. this is pretty much a book. <laughs> You're gonna see it. We're going to Matera, then we're going to Puglia. Yes. Bye bye. Oh my god, he's so mean. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> You're driving the right side of the road. Uh, who knows what the speed limits are. <laughs> but uh, anyway, a few rocks in Matera. <laughs> bit of water over in Monopoly. <laughs> you might see it though. <laughs> All right, I guess we're going to bed. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. We just picked up our rental car and we are on the road already. Um, and we're gonna make our first stop in Naples, I think. So we're just leaving the city of Rome. And then we have about a two hour drive to get there. This rain is insane, it's so loud. We just passed Naples. We didn't stop there. We tried to stop in Pompeii, but to go visit the ruins there, it was pretty expensive and it felt felt like kind of a full day thing, which we didn't quite have time SS for. 
Um, and now we're just driving along the coast towards Sorrento. All right, we just got to Sorrento. We found a lunch spot. We already ate our lunch. I didn't get any footage of the before, but here's the after. We're kind of on like the main strip in Sorrento and everything is so beautiful here. Those are orange trees. So pretty. All right, we're back in the car on our way to Priano now, which is where we're staying for the next three nights. It's like the town next to Positano, which everyone's a lot more familiar with, but Priano looks equally beautiful. We're just driving through these like amazing mountains and all the towns are like tucked into the mountains. They're so, so pretty. Um, we had a bit of a <laughs> dramatic time in Sorrento. We got backed into. <laughs> There wasn't much damage to our car, but it was um, stressful trying to drive through there. But it's all good. The lady was really nice who did it. It was an accident, so it's fine. I'm actually kind of freaking out. There's We just found a good little parking spot to check out the view, and it is so good. Oh my god. That's Positano. Looks even looks cool through these vines. It's so beautiful. It looks like a painting. There wasn't enough room for me to get out of the car, so I'm just hanging out at the side of it. The roads here are so incredibly narrow. Like this is for two cars, and then there's big buses going through and stuff. It's pretty cray cray. By the way, we're in Priano now, and this is where we're staying. And you can see if you, well, I might not be able to show. Oh yeah, there's Positano back there. It's just the next town over. Okay, we made it to our spot. This one we also booked on booking.com. I'll link everything at the very end for you guys, but this room is so cute. Look, it's got like little blue pillows and stuff. And then Chris is in the bathroom right now, but the bathroom is really cute too. And then this is our balcony. Sadly, it just started to rain, but I'm gonna sit out here anyways because it's covered and protected and it's so warm out. It's like 28 degrees or something Celsius. Um, so I'm just gonna sit out here and enjoy. And like, maybe we'll just go to the market and like pick up a bottle of wine and have our own little happy hour out here. The lighting's also really nice for photos. Me thinking ahead. There's a thunderstorm rolling in. The lightning is like literally right there. Oh yeah, you can see the rain line. It's like right there. It's about to get really wild in here. Okay, so we found a dinner spot. It's literally right across the street from our hotel in Priano, and it was recommended to us by the people that were staying at their place. Um, our plates just came out. They're massive. They look so good. This is gluten-free pasta. And we got a lemon risotto. And their house wine comes in like these cute little pitchers that are like the name of the restaurant's Costa Diva. And it comes out of those kegs and it's nine euros for a half liter. And they brought me gluten-free bread too. Yum. Also, all of the dishes. You want? All the dishes are from across the street. It's like attached to our hotel. Ceramic. It's still raining outside, but I'll show you when we go outside of this restaurant. It's so cute. They have like actual lemon trees all above the outside seating, which is where we'd normally sit. And then you can't see right now, obviously, because it's dark out, but there's the ocean right there. It's so dangerous here when they give you parm, when you ask for like a side of like Parmesan, they give you like the whole jar of Parmesan. And it's like, how do you not just like dump the whole thing on yourself? Because it's real good Parmesan. That's dangerous right there. <laughs> Dipped back into the parm jar. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> good morning. It is not raining today, so we're just heading out. We're gonna go, this is the view. Can't really see anything. There you go. It's kind of cloudy, but not raining. It's fairly bright though. So we are just gonna head out and find a scooter rental and zip around a little bit and check out the area. This is my little outfit today. It's Jerf Avenue set. I've been excited to wear this for days. This little bag again. 
and I'm just gonna wear flip-flops. I'm vlogging on my phone today because I'm trying to upload some footage on my camera, but the Wi-Fi everywhere in Europe sucks, so anyways. And then Chris's outfit is very cute too. It's from Zara again. You've probably seen this shirt before. He's got a good rotation. Also, I promised I'd show you the bathroom yesterday and I never did, but that's the little bathroom. It's so cute. We made it to our scooter rental. We just came out, I got a little salad. Chris got a stunning margarita pizza. Breakfast. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. We just found the cutest little shop and we picked up some Aperol spritz in a bottle and they were only two euros each to take to the beach because of the sun is coming out, people. Guys, we named our scooter Sky because she's so cute in sky blue. Beep beep. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> All right, we found the stairs to the little local beach that our friends recommended we go to because apparently it's always quiet. It's very steep. All right, we're like a million stairs in so far, but this place is looking pretty dope. Almost there. He's going in. You going in? I was ready to catch the dive. The weather is getting nicer, but there's one rain cloud that just won't screw off but once it does like look how bright it is i'm squinting look at the blue sky i'll show you blue there's positano can confirm aperol spritz in a bottle delicious very strong though we were both saying we could add like a little bit of soda to it probably but they're definitely worth the two euros Our scooter is so cute so cute I did not vlog at all in Ravello. Now it's pitch black and can't even see us. Um, it was beautiful up there, but then it started to rain, so we just kind of headed back down. And then we went for dinner. And that place is called Kasai, K A S A I. <laughs> and it was really good. The food was awesome. The servers were really nice. And the gluten free pasta was delicious. Linguine. Linguine. We walked up to that place. It was like only a 10 minute walk from our place, but it was mostly stairs the whole way up. So now we have the, approximately 500. So now we have the delight of going down 500 stairs, which is equally hard on the knees at our age. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. We are just on our way out the door to go find some breakfast. We got up early for the sunrise this morning and then went back to sleep. Got no footage of the sunrise for you. Sorry, but it was beautiful. It's fully sunny today. Um, so we just went to the little market, picked up some snacks to take to the beach later. Some more of those little Aperol spritz bottles and some cheese and meats. Um, so after we go get a coffee and a little recce, we're gonna go find a little beach spot. Found our little breakfast spot. We're in Priano. There's Positano. Got some coffees. We always, we've been ordering Americanos, but then we ask for it with milk and they always bring steamed milk. So it makes it almost like a little latte. It's so delicious. Just made our way to the beach. We're at like a little beach club today. It's really cute. The private beach. Well, it wasn't a pre the beach club was busy and expensive and the there's like a public area at that beach too but it was like completely full so we found a little spot around the corner that's not really a beach it's more of just like a dock but it's really nice and quiet and private we love it here's our little snack bucket so we got some cheese i forget what kind it was we have it at home and then this is like some pancetta, I think it was pancetta. And then we got some fresh tomatoes. And then this is 
the bread from dinner last night. I put it in my purse. <laughs> we took it home. And this is our little snack box. Had my first dip in the Mediterranean and it was so lovely, so salty. It smells amazing. I'm just so happy. Got a dinner spot in Positano. Just ordered some mains and drinks. Finally having spaghetti bongole for the first time. Just got cannelloni. Okay, dinner was tasty. I don't know what the name of the restaurant is, but if I remember, I'll put it down below. Um, we're just on the beach now. We're gonna go for a little sunset swim and I might take a couple photos in my little outfit. This dress is from Meshki, by the way. I don't remember if I mentioned that already before, but the light is stunning right now and there's lots of other photo shoots going on. So we're just gonna get amongst it. I like actually can't believe that this is real. I feel like it's been on my Pinterest board for the last million years and I'm so happy to be here. We're going swimming. Yeah, huh. swimming. <laughs> Quick change into the swimsuits and I think we're gonna go in. It's a little bit windy, but I think the photos will be good and it'll be a nice little, nice little cool down after dinner. That was so magical! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! My tower service. Thank you kindly. <laughs> okay, we just popped into this little convenience. It's like a convenience store slash like market in the heart of Positano. And they had so much stuff in there. It was awesome. And we've seen these everywhere. We saw them in Rome a lot, but it's a, an actual frozen lemon filled with gelato. Good morning, you guys. We are just in the process of getting our life packed up because we're leaving Amalfi Coast today and we're heading inland to Matera, which is that like really old town I mentioned before. Um, so we're gonna kind of just drive along the coast a little bit today and explore on our way into Matera. Um, so we'll bring you guys along for a little bit today, but then we're gonna continue on this Italian adventure in our next vlog. Um, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that one. But um, yeah, we'll be getting on the road shortly. So that last little town we drove through was Amalfi and then this one is Atranti, which is also very cute. We drove through both of these towns on our scooter the other day on the way up to Ravello, but it was raining, so I had my camera tucked away, which is why we got no footage of it, but it's literally so picturesque. It looks like a storybook everywhere. Look how narrow these roads are. Now picture two buses crossing paths on here. It happens constantly. See what I mean? Two, two buses going side by side. Ooh. Wild. Careful. If you do rent a car and drive along here, highly recommend not getting something bigger than a Fiat. That's what we're in, and it's nice and small, and you can get out of the way of buses and scooters and everything. I would definitely, definitely not recommend getting a bigger car. The roads here are so windy, and we're so high up in the cliffs, it's actually giving me, I, I'm scared of heights if you don't already know that, and it's, I can't even look over the edge at some parts because it's so steep. Oh my god, look at that. Alright, we picked a little town to try to stop and have lunch at. It's called Vietri Sur, Sul Mare. How's my Italian? Um, but we're just driving down now. It looks like a really cute little town, but it's busy because it's Saturday. Okay, we couldn't find any parking.
walking in that little town at all. We drove around for like 10 minutes, so we gave up. We're in the next town, which is actually a big city, Salerno. Um, we're just gonna stop for lunch here and then hit the road. Just got a little caprese salad and Chris got this pizza. It literally smells so good. It's definitely got truffle on it, right? Oh. Whoa. All right, we're officially on the road to Matera now. We're about two hours away, so we're gonna wrap up this vlog, but we wanted to just do like a little highlight of some final takeaways from Amalfi Coast. This was our first time there, so we just wanted to wrap up like some suggestions, I guess, of if it's your, gonna, it's gonna be your first time there as well. Um, so the first one is, I don't know if we mentioned this before, but we stayed in Priano, not Positano, and I would definitely recommend that. Everybody. Yeah, very young. Uh, yeah, more of a local vibe. And the people were so nice. Like everyone we, every like all the restaurant owners and workers and like the people we stayed at um, the Airbnb of. Like everyone was just so friendly. The food was better in Priano than Positano. Yeah, I feel and better like, priced. Yeah, a little bit better priced too. And like Positano is beautiful. Definitely go because it's stunning. Like everywhere you look, it's picturesque. But it was very touristy. Like you kind of lose like the vibe of Italy, whereas Priano is literally around the corner. And if you rent a scooter, it's really easy to scooter back and forth in like 10 minutes. And we just had a really good experience staying there, so would recommend it. And again, about the scooter, definitely rent a scooter. Don't rent a car. Like we had our rental car, but we parked it the whole time we were in the Amalfi Coast and just scooted around everywhere because it's way easier to park a scooter than a car. Um, so we would definitely recommend 